paz, amor, tranquilidad, azul. Relajación, ser parte del océano, ser parte del todo. Dean's Blue Hole behind me is um, it's the deepest blue hole in the world. Uh, it's 202 meters, 660 feet deep. It's the second largest underwater chamber, so it opens out into a huge cavern uh, which extends much larger than the area that you see on the surface. And it's the best place for free diving because, as you can see, it's right in the beach. So you don't have to take a boat, there's no current, the water temperature is perfect. I think that's why everyone comes here to do national records or world records or, or just improve your pressure number. To do a successful free dive, you need to both be in a, in, a, in a prime physical condition where you're adapted to low oxygen and high carbon dioxide, high lactic acid, have good technique swimming under the water so that you're efficient in the use of your oxygen and be in the right mental state. This sport is 70% mind and 30% body. You can be the best athlete in the world, but if you let the nerves get you, that's it. There's nothing you can do. We need to watch out as they're coming up, that they're still looking strong, that they can complete the dive in a safe manner. We follow the diver right to the surface, and if the diver's okay, they can complete the surface protocol. And if not, we're there to assist the diver. We have such a professional crew here. They have the highest standards for safety, and they're all the equipment on board. Everyone's perfectly trained to know what to do and handle any situation. The one word that comes to my mind during descent is surrender. You have to be able to get the mind to a place where you feel safe and being able to relax. I do have a mantra that I tell myself at the start of the free fall and that is shut down. So shut down everything, relax the body, shut down the mind and just try and live in the empty spaces between thoughts. Getting to the tag is, is a moment of excitement because yes, I got here. <laughs> but you have all the way up to swim or to pull. The first meters are more demanding in the sense that, that you are more heavy. On the way up, it's more physical. That's when you've got to win your dive, essentially. When you're kicking up from that deep, you know, a certain panic sets in. But then as you're rising up and your lungs are expanding back again, you sense this state of euphoria. I try to smile when I'm ascending. So whenever I feel like I'm running out of oxygen, I just smile and forget about it. When it doesn't work, I try to tell myself like, okay, you're strong, you're strong, you're strong, you can do it. It's a matter of believing and trusting that you can do it, and that's like the most important part. Free diving has changed my life in, in all the senses because I learned about breathing, and breathing is the middle point between the mind and the body. So with the breathing, you can control everything. Hook, 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 hook. No slip. I'm okay. All right, good yeah. job, Australia. Stay up. 
Arena. White guard. National record. And bronze medal. <laughs> I lost my little brother. He ended up doing a dive one time and not, not coming back up. It's been, you know, a couple of years since I've actually been diving in the hole after that. I kind of feel more connected with my brother. He was lost doing what he loved, and me being able to come in and take on that, it's, it's fulfilling for me. It's a a pure and a beautiful way to be in a different element. And of course we evolved from the seas, so somewhere in us is that, that memory of an aquatic existence. And freediving is a return to that.